This is my Santa or North Pole Village by Department 56. I started collecting the pieces for this village a little over 30 years ago. About eight years ago, I added the last piece that would fit and discontinued collecting. Just after Thanksgiving each year, I set up this display and another called the Dickens Village and invite friends and family over for viewing. Now a little bit about the houses. The houses are lit and the oldest house, like this one, the lookout tower, is lit from behind and that means that I have to display it up against something, a wall or something that would conceal the cord and the light fixture and you can see there's the black holder for the light and the cord coming out the back. This particular structure is called the lookout tower because it has a telescope, which you can see here, maybe zoom a little bit, and the dot represents the lens of the telescope. Some of the pieces are animated, such as the skating pond. This is the oldest of the animated pieces that I have, and it's actually part of the Department 56 Snow Village collection. But Department 56 provides an accessory of elves that you can add, which I did. So now it, 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 it fits with my theme. You will notice that there are gum dot light posts. I have some of those on the other end of the, of the display. The house in the center is the Reindeer Care and Repair Shop. This is an example of, of, of one of the newer buildings. Department 56 changed the way the, these particular buildings were lit and there's a little cord. The, the lighting is permanently installed in the build, into the building and there's a little fixed uh, cord that comes out the back which is pretty easy to conceal. And the advantage to this is I can walk around this house and see all the sides. This next house is the ornament shop. And you can see the elves are taking the ornaments out and hanging them on a display tree for sale. The house in the back is Mrs. Claus's greenhouse. You can, the red on, uh, that you see through the top of the window are poinsettias, and I've tried to show the plants from inside, but none of them are really coming out that well. You can see a little better in person. The next house is the Rock Candy Company, and you can see the elves are delivering the sugar crystals to be made into rock candy. Now this is winter time and no village would be complete without a physician or someone to care for them in the event that there was a cold. This is an example of the cold, clair, cold care clinic. This is another animated piece that's part of the Department 56 Snow Village. And again, I was able to buy an accessory set to replace the people letters with the elves, one on a tobog two on a toboggan and one in a saucer. Okay, now you can see here I have candy cane street lights. Okay. I also bought this little accessory called the Christmas Fun Run, partly because my in the vi town that I live in, we have a 5K walk run on New Year's Day, on the years that New Year's falls on Saturday or Sunday. And in this case, this, in the case of this year, it fell on Saturday. It was a lot of fun. The houses in the back here represent the oldest houses in my collections. These are the ones I first collected. Each of these houses has a wreath, and I'll zoom in a little bit. In that wreath is a letter and if I set this, the, the, these houses up in the order in which I've done, then they spell out the word North Pole. The other interesting f fact about these houses is that the letter also is the name of the house. So for example, in this case, N, Nene's Toys, O, Orly's Bells and Harness, Rimpy's ba Bakery, 
Cassie's Mittens. Now H is also on this house, but that part of the house didn't get a name. Post Office. We have Obie's Books. Lenka's Nuts. And Elfie's Sled and Skates. In the front here are the next oldest houses, and they too have the, the problem that the lighting comes in from the back. This is a gift wrap and ribbon, Elves bunk house, a Santa's work house, and another candy shop. Now you'll notice the rate that there are two deer and a, a sled. That's not part of the Department 56 collection. I got this from Michael Storrs several years ago when I was bought purchasing the, a big set like this for my front yard for display. A couple of years ago, with the help of some prankster high school students, my sleigh and deer stopped working. But I'm happy to say that my little collection you know, it for here continues to work. You'll notice that there are some elves that are taking out lights to, for decorating and another group that are carrying tinsel garland. Others are just sort of loafing or playing, having fun. Okay, you just should have seen Santa come by. Uh, here he is again. That's another one of my animated pieces. This is the Lego factory. And if I'll try to get down so you can see, there's an elf in there and there's an elf driving the little truck. The Lego factory is an example of a newer house too. In this case, the light comes up from underneath as it does with the Jack in the Box house. This means like the ones with the tree, I can display them in setting up and you can look at them from almost all the angles. The house back here, and Santa's coming this way again, the house back here is the Jack in the Box factory. And this final house to my collection is a tailor shop. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.